in this lesson we're going to look at multiplying mixed numbers uh, with fractions and also mixed numbers uh, with themselves or with each other. Um, and the main thing we need to keep in mind is that uh, when you're multiplying a mixed number by anything, that mixed number needs to be turned into an improper fraction. We have no option there, so we need to turn it into an improper fraction. So the first thing, when I see 7 and 1 third times 4 and 1 half, both of these need to be improper fractions. So we take 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1 is 22, so we have 22 thirds, times 4 and a half becomes 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9 halves. And then we do our pre-reducing. Does anything on top cancel with anything on bottom? You bet. 22 and 2 are both even, so we can divide both by 2. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then we have uh, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and that's okay as long as I divide this 9 by 3 also to get 3. So 11 times 3 is 33. 1 times 1 is 1. But of course, you don't leave it as 33 over 1. The reduced answer is just the number 33. Here's another example where we're multiplying actually four things together, uh, three fractions times a mixed number. So first order of business is to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. So this is 26 24 times 56 28 times 6 39 times and then 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2 is 16 sevenths. Now I like doing this problem because it just shows the wealth of options that you actually have when deciding what to cancel with what. So there's really no wrong answer for what two numbers to divide by the same thing if you have multiple options. So um, let's just kind of start going at this thing. Um, uh, let's see, first of all, let's take a look at this 24 here. 24 and 26 are both even, so I know that 2 um, goes into both of them, right? So I could do some canceling with 26 and with 24. But I also look over here and I see this 6, and so I'm thinking, you know what? The bigger number I could divide 24 by, the better. So what I'm going to start out by doing is taking 24 divided by 6 is 4. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Uh, let's see, 28 and 56. Ooh, these are both uh, multiples of 7. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay. And let's see, um, now at this point I'm seeing some other things I can do. Uh, for example, uh, you know, I can maybe cancel this 4 with this 16. But one thing that I encourage you to do is don't let things get too messy. So the moment you start doing a lot of crossing out, um, it's never a bad idea just to rewrite what you've got before you do too much more canceling. I'm going to just rewrite it just to keep things clean. And now let's look at this 4 and 16 business. Um, I can take 4, this 4 divided by 4 is 1, 16 divided by 4 is 4. And hey, I've got a 4 here and a 4 here. Let's just go ahead and say 4 divided by 4 is 1, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay, that's nice. And now let's take a look at what we have left. Um, boy, 7 does not go into 8, doesn't go into 26. How about 39? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm looking at 39, and 39 is not one of the special products that we're supposed to memorize, right? Um, so, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that it's prime, right? It might have different things that go into it that just aren't a pair of special um, of special numbers where we memorize their product. So here's what I suggest is 
um, you have 39 and you know 39 doesn't have anything in common with 8 because 38's or uh, 39's odd and 8 has only 2's in it. So the only chance for 39 canceling with anything is this 26. Now 26 is a little easier to think about than 39 because it's smaller and it's even. So over here on the side, let's think about what are the factors of 26. Well, 26 is 2 times 13. Now we know 2 does not go into 39, so the only way we could do any more canceling is if 13 happened to go into 39. So you might as well try it. Let's see, 13, well, maybe 3 times. And sure enough, 3 times 13 is 39. So what we can do now is say, all right, 26 divided by 13 is 2. 39 divided by 13 is 3. 3 doesn't have anything in common with what's left on top. Neither does 7. So now we can finally multiply everything out. So we have 2 times 8 is 16, times 1 times 1 is still 16. 1 times 1 times 3 times 7 is 21.